ABC, what's up? It's me, yours truly. I am back to post a quick video here. Uh, time for a recent finds video. And this is just where I just go to the recently arrived stack right over here, pick out five or six albums, just kind of show you some of the new stuff that has, has come in. So let's just kind of dive right into it. We'll start off here with uh, that thing you do. Of course, The Wonders. <laughs> Fantastic movie from, was it 96, somewhere around there? I think 96, 97. But a great movie, hilarious. Of course, the soundtrack's been out on CD for quite some time, but nice to finally have it on vinyl. Um, of course, all the fun stuff from the movies that you remember is what's on this soundtrack. And, uh, and I think there were two versions that came out. If you ordered it through the online, you got the exclusive version, which was the splattered vinyl. And I think what you kind of find in the stores are red vinyl, if I remember correctly. But so great to finally have that on vinyl. Really, really fun soundtrack. Next year, uh, you got my girl Lainey, Lainey Wilson, an artist that I've definitely been getting into over the past year, year and a half. And this is Say What I'm Thinking. Just a, a great young modern country day artist. Uh, you know, great storytelling. Um, yeah, and I've just, just really, really been digging her stuff. And um, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, I guess two things that I really love when she kind of gets into is whenever she starts singing about one of two topics like a first early love or some memories about something she's loved or reminiscing about her father. Like almost any time she gets on one of those two subject matters, there's just something that just very real and connecting that comes out through her that I just really love to death. And so a uh, great, great artist. My favorite song by her is probably not on this album, but her other album, uh, Bell Bottoms, um, Daddy's Boots. Love that one. And it's kind of a perfect example of what I was just describing. Uh, let's see, what's next here? Let's go here. Uh, Collective Soul, Seven Year Itch. This is their uh, single LP Greatest Hits that just came out. Um, you know, they've been doing a pretty good job over the past few years of releasing uh, Collective Soul's studio albums, especially through RSD. Seems like a lot of them have fallen on, on RSDs. But this is just a nice single LP, greatest hits, but kind of covers most of the collective soul that I would like to hear when I think about listening to them, including the hits with stuff like Shine, uh, Precious, Precious Declaration, The World I Know, uh, December, just a lot of great stuff, especially for a single LP, uh, greatest hits. So we're really, really happy to get that one in the collection. That's That was a fun listen, actually. Uh, let's see, next year, Ah, we're back to a little more country. So we'll pair Laney up with Jason Aldean. This is Highway Desperado. And this is his 2023 release. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's basically bro country kind of thing. And I know a lot of people tend to hate that. I was actually just watching a video last night with a Frank over at Channel 33 RPM. He's one of the great, great guys in the DC. And uh, somewhere in his video, he had mentioned something about not liking bro country which I think most, a lot of say most, a lot of people I know feel that way about it. And for some reason, I love it. <laughs> and uh, I shouldn't say for some reason, I actually know the reason. The reason is because of the simplicity in it. Like in a time where everything has become, you know, my Instagram page, my Facebook page, and go get a picture with whatever the hell it is I'm doing right now. And like people trying in the filters and people trying to create these lives to put on social media that seems like most of the time aren't even aren't really their lives something about bro country just gives a feel of just getting back to basics here like I grew up in a small town there was a girl that I've been dating since I was a freshman in high school and we we got married at a young age and you know we're living life or I broke up with someone and I'm absolutely heartbroken we used to take my truck ripping through the countryside we put down the tailgate and you know hang out in the field and drink beer all night listening to music and these are the good lessons I learned these are the harsh things I learned it's like something about it just feels like real life again and not all it's like oh my god <laughs> Again, it's just, it's a feel that I tend to appreciate. And of course the melodies and everything inside of Bro Country is just so, so awfully easily acceptable, uh, accessible is what I meant to say. 
Uh, but so I, I, I tend to love it. It's it's fun. Um, and of course, and so you know a lot of great storytelling on here. And this had you know the song that caused the whole stir this past year with "Try That in a Small Town." And, you know, I'm gonna take one minute just to kind of rant on this too because I just wanna I just wanna say the controversy that surrounded that song was the dumbest thing I've ever heard of in my entire life. That somehow, if you are a person or if you are a group of people that live in a community that says we do not want people coming into my, our community burning down my neighbor's business burning down my business putting my wife my husband or my kids in danger looting or destroying my home my property my because you have something that you want to say we're not going to tolerate that because we're a community that's going to stick together only white people say that only white people want that which would have to mean only black people want to destroy and destruction and to rob and to loot and to attack like that's us that's what we want but the white people are the only ones that want to keep their communities safe and keep their businesses safe and look out for each other that's the dumbest damn thing i've ever heard of in my entire life and it just it just so that's my little rant about it. The controversy around that was totally and completely stupid to no end, because guess what? There's plenty of black people that don't want people coming into their neighborhoods and coming into their businesses and destroying them because they have something they want to say or a point they want to make. And there's plenty of white people that are out there doing the destroying. So how about we just kind of keep it where good people that want to take care of themselves in their community and idiots that want to go out and destroy and you'll find all different colors in both of those things but it doesn't fit the narrative that pushes the whole blah 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 so that song would have to be some type of controversy such bullsh but I'll take it back down and finish with one record here uh, let's go with we'll go with this one here it's a nice quick one to show Rufus <laughs> Album actually I already have, but I saw this at the record show the other day and went ahead and picked it up just because it was a very beautiful white label promo. As you can see, they're just like fantastic condition there. So I decided to replace my copy with this. So, actually, I'll show one more. Why not? I don't need a strict time. I just picked the one right here on the top. Another one I picked up the other day which was a Fleetwood Mac, and this is their release from 1971. You know, a lot of that early Fleetwood Mac I'm not as familiar with as, you know, when Nix and Buckingham came on board. Um, and this is one that I just had not really heard with with everything in their catalog. But uh, glad I picked it up, and I mean, this actually was really freaking good. I remember side one, I kept getting some hints of like, um, I mean, it was a little bit softer, but it was kind of like some soft machine. If you guys are familiar with, with that group, I kind of got some elements from them. Um, but again, just kind of in general, I was just very, very pleasantly surprised because it's just one of those albums I never dove into and and never just kind of really taken in. So great, great addition to the, the earlier Fleetwood Mac collection right there. Again, I think that's from 1971. But anyway... There you go, VC. Those are some of the new arrivals. And uh, as always, appreciate you guys stopping in. Let me know what you think. And uh, we will talk to you soon. All right, take care, guys.